overcoming glutose on the Atkins diet. If you are experiencing a stall or plateau in your Atkins weight loss efforts, you are not alone. This occurs from time to time. However, you first must make sure that you have actually reached a plateau point. Now to plateau means that you have gone an extended period of time without losing weight or inches. It's important to take your measurements before you start your weight loss plan, in addition to your weight. You might actually gain a little weight because you are building muscle to replace your fat. The result will be an increase on the scale, but a decrease in your inches. Your body will be smaller and leaner, but you may weigh the same dot before you start your program. Measure your chest, waist, hips, upper arms, thighs and calves. You never know where you may be losing inches, so it's important to have these comprehensive measurements to refer to. Check your measurements once a week, just like your weight, and you can track your overall progress. There may be periods of 3 to 4 weeks where you have a stall in weight loss, but a loss in inches, or vice versa. Using both methods to track your fat loss is the best assurance for an accurate measure of your progress. These stall periods are not the reason to quit or to give up. They are natural parts of the weight loss process. Stalls may occur more frequently if you are 5 to 10 pounds away from being at your goal weight. Your muscle to fat ratio is higher than ever before, so your body might be resisting losing any more fat. It may be time to rethink your goal weight. Perhaps your body is trying to tell you something and it's time to start maintaining your weight loss rather than trying to lose more. God, there are some other possible causes of stalls and plateaus on the road to weight loss. If you've gone four weeks with no change in weight or measurements and you are nowhere near your goal weight, you can try a few different methods to get yourself out of the rut. Look for hidden carbohydrates in packaged foods, dressings and sauces to make sure they aren't the culprits in your plateau. Check your daily water intake. When you are dehydrated, your body will retain water and that can mimic a plateau. Water will also help flush ketones from your system and make more room for new fat burning ketones. Tonderabing can also be a cause for weight loss plateaus. Make sure not to let yourself grow hungry and eat smaller, more frequent meals. Never go more than 5 hours without eating something. Also, eat freely from the acceptable foods. Don't try to count calories or restrict your calorie intake. When your body gets too few calories, it goes into starvation mode and will hold on to fat cells. Increasing your exercise level can help get you through a plateau as well. As your muscles get used to working out at a certain level, you'll have to increase the duration or the intensity in order to keep challenging your body.